It was too far from the front, nowhere near the parts of Ukraine where there was active fighting. In the west of the country, Ukrainians say they felt safe. An illusion shattered on the morning of March 13th by 30 Russian missiles. Less than three weeks into the invasion of Ukraine, Russia attacked the Yavorov military base, a training ground for new recruits and volunteers, the deepest attack into the country and only 20 kilometers from the Polish border. Dozens of people were injured and killed. Every coffin carrying the weight of a grieving family. As the weeks pass, families across the country try to make sense of what happened. Konstantin was a weapons trainer at the Yavorev base. Solomia, widowed at 19, says all she can do now is be strong for her son. He called me that morning and said not to worry. He said they were being fired on, but he was safe. It was on another base. He said that everything was fine. Five minutes later, when I called him again after new explosions, there was no connection. She knew her husband was gone after seeing his name on an Instagram post about casualties. Grief-stricken, she was rushed to the hospital. After the attack, Salamia moved to Drohovich to be closer to family, to share the load of loss. A soldier's wife and mother-to-be, still visibly numb. A soldier's mother, unable to contain her rage. Do you, Russia, really think we'll forgive you that easily? We won't forgive you. I'll stand for my son. I'll take the weapons and we'll be shooting into your children. If you don't stop your sons, your children, fathers and husbands, we will all take up weapons, and there'll be no place for you in this world. We'll reach you, and we will push your way to Siberia, so that you'll be in the cold soil without bread, water, food, like our children, hungry, frozen, hiding in the shelters without medication, without anything. Konstantin was raised by his stepfather, who says he will also be joining the Ukrainian military and deploying to the same base where his stepson was killed. As the tally of the dead across the country continues to go up, absence fills many houses in Ukraine, where men continue to be called up to lay down their lives, and women are left to carry their memories. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera, Drohobich.